Protect the E-Wizard P.E.K.K.A. Goblin's gonna get in there. Kill that knight. E-Wizard survived! Wizard get down. No, come on, come on, more seconds. Musketeers get it done. Come on, get in there. Three. Get three of them. Three crown race right here. Here we go. Three crown race. Come on. Get there, P.E.K.K.A. Minor do work. Work it, don't shoot. Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today we're taking a look at what might just be the ultimate beatdown deck, which is a P.E.K.K.A. 3 Musketeer super heavy strategy with an average Alexa cost of a whopping 4.4. Now we're going to go ahead and test today's deck out in a grand challenge, uh, simply because my 3 Musketeers are not high enough level for ladder, and uh, all the gold that I have right now I'm saving up for one particular upgrade, so I can't spend any of it now. Uh, unfortunately, nothing, honey. Guys, this... I'm gonna go ahead and skip past this battle, because this one is not really a fair fight by any measure of the word. Alright, and there we go, guys. Busting out a 3 crown. I went ahead and skipped past that because it wasn't really a fair fight by any means. And, uh, to be honest, I kind of feel bad, because obviously he's a level 8. He's probably a free-to-play player. And, uh, probably just saved up, like, 100 gems by the... by collecting them in-game and went to his first grand challenge, so... Definitely feel bad about that one, but not too sure why it matched me with him. So, anyways, now we're facing off against a 9. Good luck for you. Well, thank you for the good luck. I think that's what his name means, at least. It's good luck for you. Hopefully he doesn't have the, uh, Lava Loon. Because Three Musketeers can be pretty expensive early game to defend that. Before you have pumps down. So we're gonna go... Probably just, like, a minor, uh, Goblins here to see if we can get some, like, counter pressure going on. He's gonna lock that. We're gonna get some. Uh, he's gonna miss this. That, that that's perfect for us. He's gonna miss that. And I kind of want to do an E wizard here on top of all this jazz to kill the spear gobs. We can go bats back here to do work to that. What do you got, sir? We got a NATO. We can go one more pump here soon if we want to. I know what deck he's using now because I might be doing a video on that tomorrow or the day after. Uh, it's a new meta graveyard deck going around. So E wizard there putting on some counter pressure. Uh, uh, ice golem going down. We can go, we could go just Naked Miner here. See what he has for us. Naked Miner. Okay, so let's go Pekka on the right. I'm gonna get some Three Musketeers going down here soon. And uh, then we can keep the, keep the pressure up. Now I wanna do two Musketeers on the left. Actually, uh, yeah, let's go two on the left, one on the right behind the Pekka. There we go. And we can go Bats to support the one on the left. Now, normally you want to have the minor in rotation to support the opposite lane ones. But unfortunately, uh, that's just not enough today. We're going to go minor back here, though. Defensive graveyard. I like it. And we can get a, peck, a, a pump going down here soon as well. Musketeer gets some work done. So by forcing him to use his uh, graveyard on defense there, we can kind of, like, maintain the offensive pressure because he doesn't have it now for the counter push. Which is all good, in my opinion. So, let's see. Ice Golem going down. One more Pekka back here. He might have his graveyard now. But if he does, we'll just kind of defend it and counter push. So what do we want to do? We want to go two to the right, one to the left this time. And he's going to poison the one on the right with the pump as well as the tower. Uh, we'll, we're okay with that for sure. NATO in the middle there. Let's go E-Wizard here. Get some uh, goblins going back here. Then we can go boom, boom. Minor bats on the, on the counter push there. His uh, log just went down. Bats get in there, please. Poison going down on defense. He's cycling pretty quickly, but the Musketeer doing work to the tower there. Let's get some more Musketeers in the middle right here. That tower on the left is dead. Good luck for you. Going down in a flame. Let's see here. Musketeer for that Ice Wizard. Can we get a P.E.K.K.A. in front? So I'm actually kind of surprised we did so well in that one, because uh, Graveyard is definitely a decent counter for P.E.K.K.A. right now, because this deck doesn't really have anything that's too strong to counter that Graveyard. You don't have an Ice Golem, you don't have, like, a Valkyrie, which is okay. Um, you have the Zaspell, which is decent, but the Bats and the Goblins aren't really reliable because they have the Poison Spell, obviously. We're going to jump into one more right here. Might be a shorter video today, as I don't have too much time today. I've been very busy with a basement new office renovation project, building a whole new office, whole new YouTube studio to record in. So let me know in the comments below if you guys are interested in seeing, like, an update video 
of that where I kind of show you guys around my new office to be. All right, guys, so I fixed the frozen button right there. Not too sure what exactly happened, but we are back. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys interested in seeing a video of a potential like progress update of the new office renovation build? Uh, or are you kind of not really into that kind of stuff? So no pump anywhere here soon for us, which is unfortunate to say the least. It is our eighth card, man. That's unfortunate. Not. We gonna do knight up front here. Miner here for this. Got a goblin gang for that. All right. Kill the knight, please. Gonna do a minor, all right, a barrel counter push right here, and all we can do is zap it. Now he's actually got a good deck for us. The one deck that's kind of strong versus us is the uh, spell bait, because they just fast cycle, constant pressure, lightning for your or inferno for your Pekka. Rocket for your pump and rocket for your musketeer, so it's uh, definitely a strong strategy. Um, but he might have the natal version of it. We'll see. Okay, he's got that there. Can we go Pekka here? I'm gonna ignore that goblin gang on the right. We'll find out if he has the infernal tower or the natal version. Um, but both of them use rocket, so we'll, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Can I go bats here for the uh, infernal? Bats, please distract, please bats, please, please distract a bit longer. E wizard reset. Goblin's here for the protect the E wizard. Get through Pekka. Protect the E wizard, Pekka. Goblin's get in there. Kill that knight. E wizard survived. Yes, there we go. That's a dead tower. We're gonna go pump over here in the bottom right. And uh, overall, doing okay here so far, I think. Ohio. Are we gonna three crown him? Oh, the Pekka. Just getting the work done. So. Sir, we will give you a thumb zoop. Let's go, uh, Musketeers right here. I said thumbs up because that's the rule of thumb. Like, whenever... <laughs> rule of thumb, thumbs up, get it? I just thought of that. But, uh, whenever you, uh, use a 3-Musketeer deck and they fireball or rocket your pump, then you go in with the, uh, the thumbs up. It's it's the golden rule. It, you have to do it. I know it's kind of BM-y, but, like, it's... You have to. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this right here and hopefully take out the tower there. And, uh, all right, good game. There we go. Three crown, guys. Doing okay so far. So we're going to go ahead and probably finish off with just one more uh, battle here. Like I said, it's a shorter video today. Been super busy. Literally, the past, like, week or so, more so the past few days, all day, every day, I've been doing basement renovations because I'm a one-man army, literally doing it, for the most part, all by myself. The only help that I had was for the electrical work because I don't really know how to do that stuff. So I had someone help me out for that. But for the rest of it, it's been kind of like a one-man army. So, I'm going to go this, this. Please don't have anything for my miner. Oh, what do you got? Miner, wake up. Ooh, a mini P.E.K.K.A. Hmm. Well played, sir. Please don't zap my bats because I'll have to use E-Wizard here. Uh, oh, we got to zap as well. Oh, that's close. We're on a very bad rotation here so far, guys. We are on a very bad rotation. He's got to pump down early and we don't. I really wish I would have had my pump first play, because we could have countered his pump with a pump as well. But we are behind here, so we got to win some elixir trades here soon, if we want any chance of winning this battle. we got to make some juicy positive trades here if we want to win, but I just don't know if it's possible to make those juicy trades. Uh, I'm going to just peck on the right. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom. No, I think we dead, guys. Battle, I'm getting it. Yeah, we did. We can go E-Wizard here and just kind of like... That'll kill the Barbarians afterwards. No, what? E-Wizard, what? Oh, you nub. That's a good game, guys. Unfortunately, that sucks, dude. We have the mini pack in there. Maybe we'll do one more uh, pump over here. And then maybe, just maybe, we'll come back later on in the battle here. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's see here. Mini pack doing a bit of work. Can we get our... Let's see Musketeers going on here soon with that P.E.K.K.A. I feel like W Elixir will do really well with this deck. But we'll wait, we'll wait. We're going to go... Uh, three Musketeers on one lane all together. And we'll get the P.E.K.K.A. in front of them, hopefully. I really want my P.E.K.K.A. in front of these three Musketeers. Come on, P.E.K.K.A. Come to Papa. Now, does he three crown us? That's the question. Hmm, I don't know if he can. We can go this, this. This here. Kill that. Nice. Miner back here. 
What do you got, sir? Battle Ram there? Hmm? Doing a bit of work right there with the Miner, but not quite enough, I don't think. Okay. Let me pack it down in front, please. Pack it right here. Boom. Nice. Do we have enough time here, guys? That's the question. Time is the, the uh, name of the hour right here. Miner back here to work. Oh, is that this? Kill the Musketeers, please. He wizard, get down. No, come on, come on, more seconds. Musketeers, get it done. Come on, get in there, three. Get three of them. That was so close. 518 health on his tower, guys. Oh my gosh, that was so close. We almost had the epic comeback of the century right there. Like I said, in W Electra, this deck is so strong, but unfortunately, we were just short only a couple of seconds right there for the most epic comeback of history. But let's go ahead and finish off with one more battle, seeing as that last one was a loss. And we never like finishing off on losses because that's bad voodoo, guys. So we're gonna go ahead here, face off against Ken. Good luck to you. So now we have that pump in our starting hand, which uh, definitely would have helped out there. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you for the reciprocating the kindness. Let's go pump right here. All right, so pump for pump. That's how it should be, guys. Whenever you use a pump deck versus another pump deck, the game should make it so you both always start with pumps in your starting hand. That way it's fair. Equal opportunity for everyone. All right, I can match your goblins with the goblins. What else you got for us, sir? Sir? Sparky. So three musketeers right here. I don't know if he's got a uh, a rocket or anything like that. I was gonna say fireball, but maybe rocket. So there's that there there. Let's go bats. I want to go bats miner here. He's gonna go uh, giant spark on the left. Are we three crown racing here? Oh, the minion horn as well. Okay, that tower is dead. We can go. Uh, e was right here for the sparky. Boom. For the sparkinator. Goblins here. Ignore that minion horn. That's not the biggest threat right now. The sparky is on the left here. Kill that. Ooh. Kill the minions. Kill the giant. Nice. There we go. So we're actually leading the game so far, guys. We have a tower down. Both of his tower at 500. Or both of our towers at 500, rather. So somehow, some way, we're still, like, not dead. We're not out of the game yet. Or he's not out of the game yet, is what I should be saying there. But Sparky, guys. The Sparky, like, so b the previous matter before this balance update... Pekka's and Mega Knights uh, ran rampant, but I gotta tell you, I really think the Sparky coming into the meta is good for the game because it'll keep Pekka's and Mega Knights in check. Because right here, if I go Pekka up front right here, like we can't really do anything there. Like it's just so strong. So we're gonna go Pekka here. Maybe three crown push him, race him. E Wizard, come to me. Where's your minion horse, sir? Stop this. Yes, do work, please. E Wizard, get through Pekka. Minor to the King Tower, please. Three Crown Race, right here. Here we go, Three Crown Race, come on. Get through Pekka, Minor do work. Sparky, don't shoot. Yes, guys, there we go. That was so close. Your heart always races when it comes down to the wire like that, and it is a Three Crown Race, because you never know. It only takes one small mistake for the Sparky to take your tower down, but boom, busting out a pretty solid three crown right there. But anyways, guys, that will be the end of the video. Here is the deck one more time. If you want another chance to go ahead and copy it, let me know what you think about the crazy idea of using Pekka Three Musketeer strategy. It is so strong, but also super expensive. So it only really shines in the W Electric period. But anyways, guys, that is the end. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for some more Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.